Hello everyone, this is Charles, and this is my 1996 Chateau 2000. She's an old camper. I've had her for four, almost five years. I got her, She's she wasn't in great shape when I got her, and she's, she's all right for a 96, keep that in mind. She's about 10,000 pounds total. I pull it with this F-150. So, if you got an F-150, you can probably pull this. Probably better with the F-250, but I've done it with an F-150 without too much problems. She's dirty right now. I don't have anywhere to clean her yet. I'm going to try to get that done. Tires are pretty good. I just put a brand new one on that back right one right there. It's brand new. She's got a normal water. She's a 30 amp plug. Right now, I've got her adapted over to 120 so I can turn the lights on. I don't have a 30 amp plug at my house. She has heat and air conditioning built in. They both work. It has a hot water heater up there in the front. It's okay. You probably replace that. I never really used it, so never really been a problem for me. This is the rear. All the lights work pretty good. I got one that needs new lens, but that's not a big deal. You can replace that with any light. It's got a plug back here in the back. All the windows are good. The, uh, the cover works. It's ugly, but it works good. It comes all the way out. I've used it a few times. Walk up here to the front. I got it shoved into my driveway right now. So yeah, that's the cover in the front. And once again, it is ugly. But if you want to replace it, feel free. <laughs> Me, I didn't really care. So all the windows are nice. None of them are broken. They all open. <laughs> all right. This is the front door. I got it. And this is made by Thor, apparently. Still got the levels on it, front and on the back here, so you can see where it is side to side. This is the couch. I'm cleaning it, so uh, see I got all the dirty stuff pulling out of here. And this is the kitchen slash living room slash dining area. Air conditioning just tried to come on. Turn that off before it flips the breaker on the house. <laughs> okay. So this is the couch. It folds down into a bed. It never had a problem with it. It's, it's a little short. If you're not like a child, I wouldn't sleep on it. If you're six foot one like me, your feet are over here on the edge. All right. Here's the little kitchen. Microwave works, oven works, cooktop works great. That's propane. Got two bottles in the front. Um, it used to be a table in here. Uh, when I got it, the people had ripped it out, and there, this floor was all linoleum, and it was all tore up. So I replaced it with a nice wood floor. This is all that laminate stuff, and I covered the wheel well. But um, when I was using this, I had a table and chairs in here little folding table and chairs that way you could have two or three people in here eating but otherwise i left it like this because there's plenty of room for cargo that's what i used to put my bikes in here my bicycles all my stuff i used to put it right here on the floor right over the wheel wells so this is a perfect place to pack your stuff so it's not in the back of your truck uh, going over here we got a fridge and freezer they both work great i've never used it on the gas but i'm sure it works i've always used it plugged in you just put it on auto and then Set it to high humidity or normal. And uh, it works great. It keeps beer cold. Fridge, the freezer will make ice. Microwave works great. This right here works good. The oven thing. It's a little loud when it starts up, but it works. Here's the closet. The pantry, I guess. A little shelf in there. A place to hang your clothes up if you want to do that. A mirror on the back door. That's the bathroom door. And this is the bunks. It's got a nice little, uh, actually a pretty big drawer down there on the bottom. Comes with a couple fans. I left them in there. Um, this used to be my son and daughter, so we had our, they each had their own drapes. And they've got covers that you can slide over so you can cover up the bunk. It's got its own lights. They got their own plugs. Both of them had their own plugs, and there's a plug down there. And so they can plug all their phones and stuff in. And these, they have TVs. I mean, you might not want them. Some campgrounds have cable, and if they do, you can. All the TVs work. 
There's one in each bedroom and one in each bunk. There used to be one out here in the living room. Right there, I left the screws where you can remount it if you want. It got stolen, so I took it down. But you can plug with a TV in and mount it to the wall right there, right behind, right in front of the air conditioning duct. And here's the thermostat. See, it's got heat and AC, and they both work. AC comes out in the top, in these vents right here. The air conditioning unit's on the roof. You can see the bedroom's got one. Right there, right over the bunks, there's one. And there's, I think there's one in the bathroom. If I remember right, yep, there's one in the bathroom. And the heat comes out of the floor. There's the floor vents. And that's the heater down there. There's the, you see the end port. That's where the end heat comes in. This is the uh, panel. It's got, it's a mix because it's 120 volt, well, 30 amp when you're plugged in. And then if you're on the, if you're on the 12 volt, this is your panel for your 12 volt. It's kind of an interesting mix between a car and a house. Once again, I never used the 12 volt, but I'm sure if you put a new battery on this thing, it'll work great. I just never used it. All right, it's got three tanks. It's got clear water, gray water, and black water. And this is the meter for all three of them. Like if it was on, I don't... And that's the pump that's... You heard, I don't know if you could hear it, but it's under, underneath the couch there's a pump. And this is the button to turn it on if you want to run that pump to run the sink and everything. You can hear it, it is working. If we had water in the tank, it would pump it. This is how you can see the meter. It tells you what's in the tanks, what the levels are. That battery's dead as a doornail. You'd have to put a new battery in it. I've never used it. Um, but if there was liquid in the tanks, you'd be able to see the level. Once again, if you're if you're part, if you're using this at the campground, you're going to plug everything in. You're not going to use the, the, any of those tanks. It's going to go right out to the sewer. But they do. It does have them, and they do work. I just never use them. So this is the bedroom, master bedroom. It has a twin real bed in it. I didn't put a camper mattress in it because they suck. So this is a real twin mattress. It's it's a plush. So it's it's soft. It's not super soft, but it is soft. Uh, it's got a dirty sheet on it because I'm trying to keep it clean. It's in really good shape. Um, I, I might even have a cover on it still. I didn't look. Yep, it still has the cover on it too. So it's still in actually probably in mint condition. It's got a mattress cover on it. And it's got its own little closet in here. Right there. There's a little blanket in there I left. And you can hang clothes up in there too. It's got cabinet space over here. And then it's got a, all the windows have blinds. <laughs> Those aren't the best, but it has them. You can replace them. Those are just Walmart blinds. They're like $2. <laughs> if I keep it long enough, I'll probably replace them. <laughs> that one has blinds. I just got them drawn all the way up. <sighs> and the kids' bedrooms, they don't have blinds because they have curtains. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little winded. And here in the bedroom, back when I got it, I put new carpet in. So the carpet's only like three years old. It's in pretty much mint condition. I need to vacuum it, but nobody really uses it. We've used this maybe four times. <laughs> okay, here's the TV for the bedroom, which is on it's on an arm. So you can fold it out so you can see it from the bed. Like if you were on the bed, you could watch it and fold it back up. There's a plug right here, a little place to put your phone. There's another one over there. So you can, I used to have a USB thing here, but I took it in, but you can plug a USB thing and plug your phones in and charge them. So it's great if you got two or three phones, you can plug them all in here. Okay, back in the kitchen here. They had a coffee maker up there when I got it. This is a shelf that wasn't, didn't come with it. They, these people put it in. I just left it because it's kind of convenient when you, like we used to put our uh, Keurig in here, you know, a hole where you can run the power and there's a plug right up here, right there. That's the main plug for the whole trailer, too. That's the GFI. And all these plugs in here are all connected to that plug. So if one of them doesn't work, it's because the GFI is tripped. But um, you can put your Keurig up there, a normal coffee maker, or anything you want. Plug it in. Just keep in mind it's a 15-amp circuit, and you go over that, it's going to pop the GFI, or it's going to park the breaker down here, either way. But it's easy to troubleshoot. Very simple. And right, here's the air conditioner. It's up on the roof. Works great. I'd turn it on, but I don't have enough power to push it. I'm only on a 15 amp circuit, so I don't have enough juice. As you can see, all the lights work. 
And here's the bathroom. It's teeny tiny because it's a camper. <laughs> the toilet works great. Never had a problem with it. Um, this is the floor in here has been completely rebuilt and replaced. I did that when I got it because it was rotted out. So it's it's his all new floor in here, sub base and everything, frame and all. Uh, it's got brand new. It's two by six underneath there. You can you could park a car in here. <laughs> I overbuilt it. <laughs> I didn't trust it, so I overbuilt it. Um, it's got this is the original cabinet. Uh, it's where you can put your medicine stuff. And you got the one under the sink, which is kind of funny because there's nowhere to put toilet paper. So this is where the toilet paper rolls out inside the drawer. And this is like a, another little storage unit. And I put toilet paper in there. I, I left like several boxes of toilet paper for this thing. Because I don't need them anymore. This is the rug that goes... This is the rug for the in front of the toilet. I just got to put it back. I put this cabinet in. Um, it works pretty good. Um, it stays closed. Nothing falls out of it. That's where we put our sandals and everything. And shampoo and things. This tub over here is utterly useless <laughs> because the hot water heater is only five gallons you can take a prison shower and that's about it and you got about three minutes and then you're done i never used it literally never used it i always went to the shower house i used the bathroom but i did not use the shower because it's just worthless it's so small and it doesn't have enough heat you you can replace the water heater with a, a heat on demand and take a long shower if you want but that's that's on you <laughs> that's not what i want to deal with all right, so also there's a fart fan. You just open that van up there and hit the button and the fart fan works pretty good. It's loud, but you know, what do you want? Okay, now we'll talk about the problems. It's a 96, so you know, it's old. It, they literally made this when I graduated high school and I'm 41. So the problems it's had before I got it, the roof leaked. And you can see over here in the bedroom how the, the skin is kind of not stuck to the plywood anymore. And that's because that board behind it got a little mushy. But structurally, it's fine. That's just an interior board. I've never fixed it because I didn't really need to. And it doesn't leak anymore, but it's just ugly. You know, for a hunting cabin or whatever you want to use this for, it's, it's really not an issue. And over here in the, in the bathroom, this is where the other leak was at. This is up here. Uh, right up in here, it was leaking. I fixed it. It doesn't leak anymore, but it, it's soft. You can see it's fine right here. Did you get over here? See that? It's soft. It's sealed up, but it's, you know, I'm just, I never bothered to fix it because why? I don't use the shower because it's, you know, it's teeny tiny. <laughs> it's like a dog bathtub and I just never needed it. So I didn't use it and this doesn't leak anymore. So it really just hasn't been a problem. And if you buy this, make sure you leave that plug in there when you're not using it because the the spiders and stuff will come up there through the plumbing. <laughs> so leave the plug in. <laughs> Same thing with the sink. Because they, they come up through the sewer pipes when it's in storage. Um, I'll show you the toilet here. The toilet works great. It holds my big ass so I don't hold anybody else. I'm 300 pounds. So yeah, it's a good, simple. I don't know how many water hooked up. But usually you pull this. You pull this one and it would rinse it with water. And then you pull the other one and it opens it up. And dumps it into the sewer. No big deal. Real simple. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, that's everything I can think of. Sink works great. Um, just basic double sink. Nothing really interesting there. Uh, here's the burners. Ooh, I gotta clean that. <laughs> They're dirty. They all work. All three of them work. And it's got a little oven. And we, I think we used it once for some bacon, <laughs> but it works fine. It's all propane. Can opener. Not sure if it works. I'm probably gonna throw it away. Uh, got a nice knife set here that's mounted to the wall. I found this a long time ago. Got a bunch of nice little knives in here. Let's see what else we got. That one works. Make sure you let me make sure you a little bit of storage. I left a little, that's a, that's a humidity thing. It's for taking humidity out of the air. If you're, if you're camping in the winter, you plug that in, pulls the humidity out of the air. I left some plates in here too, cause I don't, I don't want them. I think I even left pots and pans in here. I did. Yeah. I left a bunch of frying pans and you're free to have those or throw them away. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> I 
Uh, yeah, that's for when you're cooking hot dogs and stuff. There's a blender in there. There's a toaster in there. All that stuff works. I just left it because I don't need it. Um, this is an antenna. In case you're somewhere that doesn't have cable, you plug that into the back of the TV. Right now it's hooked into the whole network. You can see I hooked it into the whole grid. So all three of the TVs, if there was one here, these three and the one that's in the bedroom would all get the antenna signal from this. Uh, they might, like the one in there has its own antenna, so you can just use the one in there. But all the cable lines, there's two connectors. There's this one and the one in the bedroom behind this wall. Those are all on the network that's plugged in outside, which I'll show you. So I'm going to go back out here. And the screen, it works great. You just separate it. Close this, and then you got your screen in the door, and I got a spring on it so it stays closed, because it was really annoying. The wind would blow, and it would pop open, and it would fly over there, and <laughs> it was really annoying, so I fixed that. Real simple, you pull that, and you gotta link them back together, like that. And this is the bolt lock that you close, the red handle, it's a bolt lock. Just shut that down. This is the, the awning, which is ugly, but works good. It is ugly though. You can replace it for about 500 bucks if you want, but that's totally on you. I have no interest in doing that. This is where the propane's at. There's two tanks in here. I think there's a 30 and a 20, if I remember right. Or 10, might be a 10. It's one of the little ones. There's a normal barbecue one in there and there's a 30, because the other one that was in there was too old to fix. So I got rid of it and that works great. I've never had a problem with the propane. This is the hot water heater here. And it's propane and electric, I believe. I think I use it with the propane every time. I think it's, it might only be propane. I don't remember. I haven't used it in a long time. This is where you'd fill it with water. If you were going to take it off the off grid, you'd fill this up right here. This is your, water, your clear water. Um, this is where you hook the hose up. I leave this adapter on here just because it's easier to plug it in. You screw it in vertically so you don't have this hose coming off because that, that got the hoses have gotten broken before so i put this in to fix that this is where the power comes in um you just open this up and this this is a big long black cable i mean it's like 20 feet long and it's a 30 amp plug on it here i'll show you i got an adapter on it Hold one second yeah, so this is a 30 amp plug see here but you could put that adapter on it and take it down to 120 when you've got to park the home that's what i do this is where the cable hooks up for the once you hook this up everything inside's hooked up this is the heater it's ugly but it works probably could use clean cleaned out it's all it's propane but i believe it, it can do electric too but i'm i use it with propane never had a problem with it I lived in this in a, for a month in, the, in February, and it was I never had any heat issues. Let's see. What else is there? I think that's everything I can think of. You can see up there. It's got a... I'm sorry. It has a tape deck radio in it, <laughs> which could probably be replaced, but, you know, I just never bothered with it because we all have phones, so who needs to do that? Uh, there's an antenna up there for TV, but it's, it's never worked, and I never bothered with it because who uses that? It's analog so there's no signal anyway all the tires over here are good this is the storage bin i don't have the key right now so i'm not going to open it but that's where the hoses and everything go that hooks up to the camper uh, there's a sewer hose in there there's a, a thing to put the sewer hose on there's several extension cords um, there's tools there's a jack to pick the thing up if you get a flat tire i got a bunch of tools in there because you know you never know uh, it doesn't have wheel wells on it. It used to have covers like they they got broken off a long time ago And once again, why bother replacing them because it's just money. You don't need to spend The other thing I don't have is the key for this one this is for the handle I don't have that one. I have the bolt lock. I don't know why but these two are different <laughs> You can replace this whole thing for I think Probably 60 to 100 dollars, but I just never bothered because the bolt lock is all you really need So I've always just locked it with the bolt lock um, that light up there works great too. It's yellow, utterly useless, but it does work. There's one up here. This is where the battery's at. I've never bothered. You could put a battery on it. I'm sure it works fine. It's just I never used it, so I just never replaced it. That battery's probably 10 years old. 
Uh, let's see, here's the other leveler. That's great when you're setting it up with the jacks, when you're actually putting it in place. But that's pretty much everything. If you got any questions, just hit, hit me with an email. Um, I'm just going to put this up so you, you guys, I'm going to be straightforward with you. This is what it is, warts and all. She's dirty. <laughs> Thanks.